come down to just the Denver Broncos. And do I feel like this Denver Broncos team can cover a three and a half point spread? And I really don't. You know, they've struggled in numerous ways on offense. Yeah, their defense has been pretty stout. But when you look at head coach Nathaniel Hackett, he has not put together a good game the entire season just yet. You know, they've won a couple games that they maybe should have lost. They won 11 to 10 against the San Francisco 49ers. So they're just scraping these games out. And now they're placing, facing an Indianapolis Colts team that is one, two, and one. Yes, they have some serious injuries. Jonathan Taylor might be out. Uh, Shaq Leonard, uh, Tyquan Lewis. So some, some more serious injuries on the defensive side of the ball and, of course, the offensive side with Jonathan Taylor. But at the end of the day, I love playing those teams in a bounce-back spot, teams with their back against the wall who desperately need a win. And that's exactly what the Indianapolis Colts need here. Uh, when you look at the Denver Broncos, they're in a similar scenario. They just lost to the Las Vegas Raiders, and I believe it was 32-23. to 23. So, again, they need this game as well. But when you have two teams like that who are going to be going at it, they both desperately need this win, it tends to end up in a closer style football game. Now, when you look at both teams' defenses in addition to that, it's tough for me to see this game getting out of hand either way. You know, in terms of receiving yards per game, the Broncos give up around 192 per game and the Colts give up 221. Uh, two better passing defenses throughout the NFL. In terms of rushing defense, the Broncos give up around 115 per game and the Colts 92. Again, two of the better defenses throughout the NFL. So once again, one when I look at these two teams, it's tough for me to see this getting out of hand. Both offenses have struggled in numerous ways. When you look at the Colts, if you lock down Michael Pittman Jr., they're going to struggle passing the football. With the Denver Broncos, if you get pressure on Russell Wilson or you primarily look at Cortland Sutton, they're going to struggle as well. So because of that, I'm going to lean with the Colts here at plus three and a half. Also, when looking at this over under, it's at 43 and a half. I think that's a little high for this football game. I'd be surprised if that didn't go down a little bit. And then also when looking at this Colts plus three and a half, I'd be surprised if that doesn't go down a little bit too. get closer to three. So I try and take this hook while you still have a chance. Take the Colts plus three and a half. 